Even in this era of cloud-based everything, having enough storage on your computer's actual hard drive or SSD is still important, and many users still find themselves fighting against capacity limits all the time. Fortunately, Windows includes some tools to make it easy to free up significant amounts of storage space. So let's check them out, starting with something really straightforward, the Storage Sense feature. You can access this by opening up your settings app, going to System, then Storage. All you have to do from there is toggle the Storage Sense switch to on. Storage Sense automatically deletes certain types of unneeded files when you start running out of disk space, but it can also be set to run at regular intervals, as often as every day if you like. But it's also very easy to instead click on the option toward the top of the screen that says Temporary Files. You'll be taken to a list of categories of files that can be safely removed, such as temporary files that haven't been touched in a long time, and old versions of system updates. You can pick and choose what to remove, but do take a minute to read each description to ensure you don't delete something you might find useful later. For example, you can often reclaim a great deal of space by deleting previous driver versions. But if you end up having a problem with one of your hardware components, you won't be able to revert back to the previous version of the driver as easily. So we'd only recommend clearing out this space if none of your hardware has been misbehaving recently. And be very careful that you don't accidentally check the downloads box, lest you lose something important you've downloaded off the web. But aside from the potentially significant amount of space you can free up with these steps, there's a way to save even more space, and we'll tell you about it right after we thank Odoo. What can they Odoo for you? Well, if you're looking for a high quality website for your business, but lack the coding experience to make it happen, look no further than Odoo. Their open source platform is packed with user-friendly drag and drop design elements and features that can help anyone build a gorgeous Gorgeous website. And with Odoo's AI copywriter powered by ChatGPT, you'll never have to worry about creating content. Odoo's website e-commerce application is not only 100% free, it also comes with unlimited hosting and they even pay for your custom domain name for the first year. So visit the link in the description and start building your dream website with Odoo. In that same storage menu, if you click on cleanup recommendations, you can open up a list of large or unused files, which will show you larger sized files in your personal folders, as well as files you haven't opened in a long time, making it fairly easy to quickly delete them. For a more in-depth look at the largest files on your PC, you can also download Microsoft's PC Manager app, hit storage, and then large files. You'll get a more thorough list of the largest files on your system. But you wanna be a little more careful before deleting some of these, as some of them might be important files your installed programs actually need. Speaking of programs, another way to free up space we haven't discussed yet is to try and de-bloat your Windows installation. I probably don't need to tell you that you can save a ton of space by uninstalling that massive 100 gigabyte AAA game that you somehow never got around to playing, or the pointless trialware that might be on your drive if you're using a pre-built PC. But when I say de-bloat, I mean getting rid of some of the Windows features and apps that often come with a fresh OS install. If you've never bothered to do this, you might be surprised just how much junk Windows 11 is bundled with. You could remove some of it by simply right-clicking on icons on the Start menu and selecting Uninstall. Or you can go to the Installed App section of the Settings app, which will very helpfully show you what you have installed and how much space each app is taking up. So you can easily decide what to keep and what to ice. See you later. There's also a few automated tools out there that can help you remove bloatware a bit more quickly. And if you're building a new PC and simply don't wanna deal with crapware in the first place, you can try setting your time and currency format to set up to English World to keep third-party partner apps from installing. Or try using the popular Tiny11 mod that installs a lighter version of Windows 11. We promise we won't tell anyone at Microsoft other than you know, any of the employees that happen to be watching this video. Wait, is Satya Nadella a fan of this channel? Say hey in the comments, Satya. So thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, you might want to check out our history of computer storage.